Hello and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for September 22nd through the 28th. The card that we've pulled this week from the Spirit Speak Tarot is the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is actually one of my favorite images in almost every deck that I have and it's because it's not an entirely positive card. The Swords cards tend to deal with things that are going on within our minds, our worries, our stress, but the Four of Swords is recognizing that all of the worry, the stress, the outside circumstances in your life have nothing on your internal state of peace. So whatever is going on within your life this week, it's not so much that you should try to control it or that you even can control the things that are happening to you, but you always have control over that internal oasis that you have. And this week is really about letting the outside world do whatever crazy thing it's doing and know that at any given point you have this beautiful peaceful place to retreat to within yourself so that you can regroup and that you can find your true center so this week is really about recognizing that inner state of peace of love of abundance of everything that you need and letting the world around you off the hook a little bit a really beautiful thing happens whenever you start to recognize this place that's always within you that you can retreat to or just tap into anytime that you need a little rejuvenation. And it's that you start to be less affected by the outside world. Because yes, the outside world is still going to affect you from time to time, but ultimately it comes down to knowing where to find that place of peace outside of everything else in your life. So no matter how much the outside world or the people in your life are disappointing you this week, you have everything that you need within you. And it's about really taking the time to find some moments for stillness, for quiet, to spend time with yourself and yourself alone. And a lot of times I feel like we are thinking that we're spending time with ourselves, but in actuality what we're doing is zoning out in front of some fictional characters' lives and kind of getting tapped into that, or sitting alone by ourselves but worrying or thinking about the other people in our life. And I encourage you this week to really, really remember what you feel like completely on your own, when you're not worrying about everyone else, when you're not trying to share your life via social media and see what everyone else thinks about what you're doing. Really tap into that place of just enjoyment for your own sake and free of the outside connections. Maybe do a little visualization before you start your little self-love practice and just cut ties with the rest of the world for a while. It doesn't have to be a permanent thing. It doesn't even have to be a negative thing. Just allow yourself to disconnect from the outside world and remember who you are at your core and the things that you love and the things that you enjoy and the things that bring you peace. Because ultimately the more that you can build that relationship with the you that's within, the more that you will have a stable center. So whenever the waves of the outside world start to come about, you're still rooted in something solid. You're still rooted in your own connection to yourself. So the outside world doesn't have to affect you quite as much. So I hope that this reading has served you well. If you would like additional advice, you can always head over to michelleshaywalker.com and order a personal reading via email. And I also now offer intuitive coaching sessions via phone. So if you want a voice on voice contact, if you want multiple cards pulled based on your circumstance and to create a conversation around what it is that you're trying to ask, that's definitely available on the website as well. And if you like this video, please feel free to share and subscribe. So I will see you again next week.